Speak running. Speak running. Running. Weight violation ahead. Running. Truck weight violation. Continue on this road for five miles. Truck weight violation. We don't need no truck weight violation. Lane ends, merge lift. Lane ends, merge lift. Guess where we at? Lane ends, merge lift. How am I gonna get in here? Second driveway. Robert's loads right here. Let's see how many loads we got. We got one, two, three, four. We got four loads, five loads sit, sitting on the yard. And I gotta find somewhere to drop my trailer. That commented on my video yesterday. Asked, it said something about they didn't know P and they said uh no, they said they had Volvos. But you about to see this, uh, when I back up right here, you're going to see a, a blue Freightliner. Blue Freightliner sitting right there, and a white Blair truck. Blue Freightliner and a white Blair. This, this trailer in front of me right there. It's got PNS tarps on it. You're looking at the bottom of it, it's a Red Mountain trailer. trailer real quick. First time I seen that. Oh, that must be a new driver. He still got tags on his uh, on his ratchet binders. PNS driver pulling the Blair trip. First time I seen that one. I seen plenty of uh, I seen plenty of Blair drivers pulling PNS trailers. About to head over here to the. Maintenance shop. Guess what? I gotta get a new drive cam installed. So let me see if they got time to get me in before lunch. Find out. Uh oh, he's waving me in. New drive can time. I'll be sitting here for a little while. Hopefully not too long, cause it's almost lunch time. In 
0.2 miles turn left on Shore Road. camera hooked up. I'll show y'all once I stop. Got my camera hooked up. Got me some lunch at the terminal. Some Bojangles. It's bow time. Y'all know the motto. I know y'all wondering where in the heck is he at? Hey, y'all ever seen that movie The Hills Have Eyes? Somewhere like, somewhere like that. Hills have eyes. Only thing about it. Approaching yeah. destination in a half mile on the left side. Hey, anybody pop out these woods? I got a, I got a cheetah bar under that bunk. If anybody pop out the woods on me, I got some fun. Approaching destination in 0.2 miles on the left side. We got a McElroy truck sitting right there. McElroy day cab. All trucks enter here. All trucks enter here. Hey, it's crazy. It's crazy, man, how you come to these places. Out you in the have middle. arrived at your destination on the left side. Come to these places out in the middle of nowhere. Then you see this big factory. You see that big factory down there? I'm picking up sheetrock. Gotta turn my truck off. <sighs> Better come on out here, buddy. Take my number. Tell me what's my trailer number. Yes, sir. What's up, man? All right. Hey, what the number start with? The number you need? Let's start with a seven, a one, eight. Okay, I got seven nine seven seven one one oh six oh. Okay, yeah. Trailer you picking up in here? It's two zero four. Let me write it down, man. Let me get my pen. Damn, lost my damn pen. You said two zero four? Yeah, two zero four three seven six. Three seven six. Yeah. First All right. time here? No. Oh, okay, I thought you did. All right, appreciate it. Oh yeah, there you go. You were going to Somerville, right? Yeah. What again? You pick up number again? I'm just going to make sure. 7977-11060. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, Somerville, South Carolina. Yeah, All right. Here you go. I'll refill it out for you. Let it sign. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Appreciate All right. it. Yeah. Hey, y'all said I make it a little easy. Ain't that hard, man? Ain't that hard? Come check in. Have a good attitude. Joke with the guy. Crack a joke. Don't joke with the females. They might get offended. 
Hey, don't, 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 don't crack no, uh, don't crack no political jokes. Don't crack no homosexual jokes. Especially don't crack no race jokes. Even if it's the same race, they, they might get offended. Hey, you gotta hit them up. Be like, yo, hey, hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, y'all know how y'all do, man. How's it going? What's up, bud? <laughs> Ain't that hard? Stop at the stop sign. We'll find somewhere to drop this trailer. Warning, do not drop trailers on roadside. I guess they said that because, hey, you come here all on this left side, you drop trailers. So I guess they want you to come drop them up here somewhere. There used to be trailers all right here. So I'm going to drop mine up here beside this trailer. Hey, it ain't hard to find a PNS trailer when you, uh, when I get ready to look for my trailer. It ain't hard. All you do is just, uh, look for the white and blue top. That's all you got to do. I did pick up a load of sheetrock in, um, was it Newport News, Virginia, somewhere like that. It has some MTB tarps on it. That was only one time, though. Let me drive this trailer real quick. <coughs> now let's go look for my trailer. Two, zero, four, three. Seven six. I told my I told my other buddy today work for PNS. He was like, uh, he he dropped the trailer and he left some edge protectors and some bungees on it. But when he picked up his trailer, they didn't have no edge protectors. So I told him, I said, hey, what I do is I wait till after I hook up to the trailer and see how much it got, and then I uh. Then I go put it back on there. That's how I do it. That way I don't, that way I don't give up too much. I ain't gonna leave 50 bungees, but I pick up a preload and only got 10 bungees on it. Yeah, I ain't gonna do that. I just passed two PNSs and there's one on mine. Got one right here. Let's see if this is mine on the left. Got a whole bunch of V-boards. Damn, that is mine. All them damn V-boards under the damn landing gear. Hey, they want all that extra stuff. Yeah, this is mine right here, 204376. Let me go ahead, back up, hook up to this thing. Hey, shout out Cypress Truck Lines. I got a buddy, used to work over there, Armando, but now he back home pulling hogs and hog feed. Where everybody from my hometown does, <laughs> they pull hogs. Maybe I'll pull hogs one day. But right now, pull a flatbed. Pulling some lumber and some sheetrock. My specialty. I ain't ready for the hogs yet. Maybe one day I'll get the hogs. Hey, I ain't trying to mess with them hogs, man. Sometimes you gotta go to different hog farms and take a shower when you get there, and then you gotta take a shower when you leave. I don't want you to get a, get a hog with no kind of disease or nothing. Let's get up under this thing. Woo! Y'all feel the bump? Tug test. You see it vibrating? Tug test. Yeah, we locked in. But we still gonna get out. We still gonna get out and check the... Uh, What's it, what you call that thing? The king pin. You want to make sure the, the king. You want to make sure the shank is wrapped around the king pin. That is how you see it. The locking jaws of the shank are locked around the king pin. But before I get out, I gotta put on my safety gear. Cause if you don't, the people on that golf cart, they'll, they'll have a stroke if they catch you without a damn safety vest.
Also I'm gonna throw the GoPro on too. There's my new camera right there. I used the one I had before was up top. Now they put it down in the middle. I guess it got a wider angle down there in the middle. Now I can see everything. Guess what? I ain't gonna I ain't gonna quit my job. Just cause I got a got a drive cam, like y'all say. Whew. Let's check this load out. Now they want me to leave 50 bungees. They want me to leave 50 bungees and the edge protectors. Let's see. Look, that's only one bungee right there. One bungee. Let's see. You ain't got that. Y'all see 50 bungees? Hell no. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One right there. Seven bungees. And they talking about leave 50. What the, what the hell? Oh man, this trailer ain't worth a damn. See how many straps we got on here. We got one strap under it. We got one strap right here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got that's eight. That's eight, nine. gonna throw another strap right here yeah we're gonna throw that, throw that one they ain't secure this load worth a damn I recognize that shoe print. Air Force One. What the fuck? Yeah, that shit is wide. Straps around the rub rail. They shouldn't be around the rub rail. They should be under the under the rub rail. I already see you before we even. Before we even fix the straps, we got we're gonna fix the tarp. Before we fix the straps, I can't see nothing. This while I'm down here. Yeah, it's locked. All right, gang. Let's fix the. Let's fix the tarp first. Fix the tarp, then we fix the straps. Oh, that one's fucked up. Hey, look, so when they tell me to leave 50 bungees on, on the drop trailer, that's about 50 bungees right there. I learned my lesson about that. 
I leave a whole bundle. And when I get to the get to the trailer I'm picking up like this, it wouldn't have nothing but like 10 budgies on it. Go ahead and fix the tarp. I'm going to show y'all a better view of this uh, tarp. This is how this tarp looks. Look at this tarp. Hanging off. It's preloaded though. It's definitely preloaded. Look at it. Yeah, we got to fix this. Best way to get down a long road, I said it one time before, <laughs> one step at a time. Best way. On the plus side though, some brand new tarps. <laughs> brand new. I'll, I'll, let's see how long I keep them. Yeah, our Kolu, South Carolina. They got a Georgia Pacific there that we that we got preloads at. So that's probably where I'll go. So I'll probably have new tarps right after this. Yeah, more than likely. It's a big ass load. Real big. I ain't carrying one this big in a while. That lumber load, it was pretty big too, but this this is big. It's tall. I couldn't even climb up on this. I ain't nowhere to put my feet at. Let's fix this. I have to put some bungees down low on this one. On this side. And we still gonna put some up top right there. Hey, they don't call me. They don't call me the master tarper for nothing. I fix any load. Fix any load. Put you right here, buddy. I'm gonna hook you on the bottom. On the bottom. We got stretch. There you go. I guess the people that were here, they must have, they didn't give a damn about this load. Cause it's usually a whole lot better. When you pick up a preload, they don't give a damn. Fix that one. Put you right here. Whew.
these McElroy trucks out here. McElroy got some dedicated accounts that pull the sheetrock. They home every weekend too, some of them. Y'all guys want to be home on every weekend. And Cypress. Cypress home every week. Not every weekend, but you can be home every weekend. It depends on where you live. Remember I said that with 50 budgets. I'm almost use all of them on this one side. <clears throat> Two bungees left <laughs> Just on this one side <sighs> Two bungees Throw 
these up here. So this mud. So they don't be flapping. Now I gotta fix this side.
Give me. Run my straps under the rail rail. It's a heavy load. I don't want to take the chance of staying strong enough under the rail rail. Under. Almost finished with the bungees. Now it's gotta get these strap, get, get these straps fixed. You gotta know how to hook them. Gotta use the right bait. Use the right bait to hook these things. Y'all seen on Snap on Snapchat and Instagram. I was at the beach last week. Y'all seen the mermaids. Go on my Instagram, you see them up there. I seen some mermaids last week. And somebody asked me what kind of bait did I use. Money, that's all I used. <laughs> Pay the money, you go see them. That's all. Hey, if y'all ever get the chance to go down there to South Carolina, to that aquarium, Ripley's Aquarium in South Carolina. You'll see they got mermaids in there. And they actually swim with um they swim in the tank with uh with some sharks and some um what are they stingrays? Sharks and stingrays. They swimming in the tank with them. Some hammerhead sharks. That's some little small sharks. They still they can still hurt you, I imagine. Cause it's like I want to say it's about uh about ten of them in that tank. It don't take but one bite, one shark bites you, get that get that blood, and the other one's going to attack. So I imagine they can still they can still do some damage to you if they wanted to. And I don't trust them stingrays either. Let's get this thing fixed. Hey, that might as well gave me tarp pay for this load. Y'all see how much work I gotta do for do for it. Yeah, that might as well gave me the tarp pay. What's this place? Certained. This is a certained. It ain't National Gypsum. But National Gypsum do the same thing. Sheetrock. Yeah, they might as well, they might as well gave, gave the damn pay to the driver. <laughs> a little bit of work they did. Cause I don't get paid for this. Ain't no tarp pay for this. Cause it's pre-tarped. Yeah, they might well gave it to the driver. I'm doing everything. That's how they do. Grab a couple more for the other side. This is probably about this might be about, about 60, 70 bungees that I done used already. Cause that bundle probably had like 40. It probably didn't have 50. But I usually, that's what I usually do. Is just take a, um, 
a whole bundle and throw it on the throw it on the drop trailer. That's usually how I do it. <sighs> Side fix. Grab my cheetah bar while I'm down here. I got a strap. I got to throw from the other side. <sighs> hey, let me hear it one time. The flat bed ain't easy. The flat bed ain't easy. Go ahead, and get my cheetah bar. So I gotta throw a strap. I don't trust it. I probably could roll with it like this. But I got a big gap back there at the back. I gotta throw a strap across it. Hey, PNS, y'all watch this video. Y'all see. Y'all paying them, y'all paying these people to talk these loads. See how much time the driver is wasting. Y'all see. When you pick up a pre-tarped trailer, all thing you should have to do is just uh, tighten up the straps and check, check over the tarp job. Not, not down there talk the down low yourself. This what y'all paying paying this company for? Or however y'all working it out. Hey, somebody getting gypped. And it starts with the driver. The driver getting dipped the most. Getting gypped the most. I'm supposed to be going down the road right now. Going all about 45 minutes. I've been out here with this trailer. And when I go to, when I go back to my drop trailer, I'm gonna leave one, two, I'm gonna leave 10 edge protectors and, and 10 bungees. Cause that's all that left me. Yeah, y'all see it. that across there grab this one too they gonna put you right here buddy oh got the back looking good back looks excellent oh I forgot to hook you buddy forgot to hook you hook you right there Oh, I got a strap right here. This is the one I need to throw, not, not this one. Cypress. This is the one I got to throw. I almost threw the wrong one. I knew something that seemed right. And this is a twin this is a 2000 trailer. Yeah, this is a 2020 trailer right here. It's a 2020 trailer, but it got old straps on it. I ain't worth a damn. Damn. I don't got a lot of room to throw this thing. I can't wind up. This trailer behind me, so I hope I can get it to the other side. So I damn sure don't want to climb up there.
Yeah, sure don't want to climb to the top. All right. Let's see if we can slingshot it. Hell no. I ain't got enough. I ain't got enough room to get no momentum. I gotta do it the old fashioned way. Roll it up. Throw it like a baseball. But I'm about to do a, I'm about to do what you call the Patrick Mahonis. Cause I ain't got enough room to cock back. Y'all know what the Patrick Mahonis is? That's when you throw that thing sideways. Only people that can do them is Patrick Mahonis. And something that rhymes with Mahonis. Cajonis. <laughs> you gotta have big cojones to do that. To throw it, throw it sideways. <sighs> See if I get enough power to get this thing to the other side. What the key is, I'm gonna have to jump a little bit. All right, one, two, three. Ah, oh, oh man. <laughs> oh man. Let's try it again. At least I caught it and it didn't fall down, fall down and roll out. <sighs> Flatbed Olympics. Y'all remember that time I was doing that? All right, let's try it again. One, two, three. Woo! Damn. <laughs> hey, gotta have my, gotta have cojones. Gotta have cojones to do that. And look how much I got left out. A lot. Whew. Got that thing over there. Gotta have cojones for that. <laughs> oh man, let me stop messing with y'all, man. Let me stop messing with y'all. But guess what though, gang? All I gotta do now is tighten up straps. Tighten up straps, hook up my airlines, go uh, drop 10 bungees on my drop trailer, and, and 10 edge protectors, and we're gonna get up out of here. How about that? Wait on it. Look at this. Well, I got one, two. I throw five with that and throw it on that trailer. We, we're gonna call it a day. Whew. All right, gang. This video long enough. I'm tightening these straps and I'm rolling out. For anybody, all y'all that took the time to actually watch this whole video, I appreciate it. Flatbed gang, man. Make sure y'all follow me on you Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. I really want y'all to share my YouTube videos, man. Share my videos. I'm trying to trying to get my audience out there a little more. So anybody that stuck around to the end of this video, I want you right. I want you right now. Right now, I want you to hit that share button. Copy the link and text it, in, text it to your cousin, your best friend, your daddy, anybody. Just share the link or share it to Facebook or something. I want y'all to do that for me as a, as a late birthday present. All right, I'm out. Flatbed gang. <laughs>